Welcome to another free tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross. I'll be your instructor. And in today's class, we're going to learn about validation rules. A validation rule can be used to limit data entry in your tables. And we'll see how that works in just a second. Okay, so here I have a real basic database. I've got a customer table and a customer form. Let's open up the customer table. Now in this customer table, I've got a couple of basic fields. I have my customer ID, my auto number. I've got first name, last name, address, city, state, zip. And then I've got this thing over here called credit limit. Now this is what I want to take care to put a validation rule in. Let's say I'm the manager and I only want my customers to be able to have a credit limit of no less than zero and no more than $2,000. And someone put a credit limit in here for Mike Williams for 5000 That's too much. I want the max to be 2000 all right, and the min to be zero, of course. So let's come in here, first of all. Let's change this guy to 2000 That's going to be the maximum. And let's go into design mode for this table. All right, right up here in the toolbar, hit the design view button. And let's come down here to credit limit. And we're going to find down here in the field properties the validation rule and the validation text. Now, the validation rule is a rule that specifies a formula saying this is what this value can be. It can be a specific value, it can be a range, it can be a list of values. There's lots you can do with it. And the validation text is simply a message that will pop up if they violate the validation rule. Let's keep it simple for now. Let's just say we want to make sure that it's less than or equal to 2,000. So I'm going to go less than or equal to 2,000. All right, and a validation text, the credit limit must be below $2,000. All right, let's save our work. I'll hit Control S for save. All right, now it says the data integrity rules uh, have been changed. The existing data may not be valid. We just made sure that it was. It's just saying that, hey, in case you've got any data in there, all right, this might not work. So I'm just going to say yes. I already made sure that that was set. So let's go back to table view. And watch now if I come over here and I try to change this to 3,000. There's my error message. It pops up down here. It says the credit limit must be below $2,000. So that's a very simple validation rule. Let me hit escape. I'll put it back where it was. Let's go back to design view. Let's say I want this to be between 0 and 2,000. There's a couple ways you can write it. You can say greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2,000. That's one way to do it. Or you can use the between keyword, between 0 and 2,000. And that's inclusive of the endpoints, too. All right. Save it again. It tells you about the data integrity rules. Hit OK. Go back here. And now let's just try putting something like negative 5 in there. All right. And it yells at you. You could change the message here and say credit limit must be between 0 and 2,000. But that's something that people probably won't ever type that in. All right. So hit OK. And I'll put them back to 2,000. And there you go. That's a basic way to do validation rules. Okay, if you want to learn more about validation rules, I cover them in detail in my Microsoft Access Beginner Level 3 class. There's a link to it there. I'll put it down in the description below the video. You can do all kinds of things with validation rules. You can do validation rules based on dates, before a date, after a date, between two dates. You can do it based on text, like make sure they enter from a list of states. All kinds of things you can do with validation rules. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You can also... Watch my beginner level one course. It's a three-hour course, completely free. There's a link there. Again, it'll be down below. And if you like level one, you can purchase level two for just a dollar. Again, there's the link. And if you get level two for a dollar, you can get half off of level three. So if you want to learn about validation rules, check this offer out right here. Okay, once again, thanks for watching this video. Again, my name is Richard Ross, and this is Access Learning Zone. Uh, feel free to visit my website at accesslearningzone.com, and you can check out all my other videos on YouTube. Of course, make sure to thumbs up and comment. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and visit my page. Thanks.